Hey people. Hi. Hi everyone. Hello. Hi. So, hi all of you. So, welcome to uh, the second session of Creative Write. So, in a few minutes, I will just let you know what Creative Write is and what we are going to do today. Okay. So, uh, we'll just wait for a few more minutes so that every, uh, anyone else wants to join in, they can join and then we can just start. Hi, hi everyone. It's so nice to see all of you here. So, uh, till then we can do a little uh, introduction, like many of you knows me, but other people who don't know me. So, uh, my name is Aarti and uh, I am a paper artist and uh, I basically do quilling and iris folding. Okay. So, we're just waiting for few more people to join in. Uh, we'll just start in a few minutes, okay, so that uh, anyone else who wants to join in, they can join and then we'll just start with our session. So I basically uh, stand Delhi, that is in India. So uh, this is the second session of Creative Write. We already did uh, one session last week and every Saturday at 5 p.m. I come live and then we all do quilling together. Uh, uh, so in few minutes we'll just start. Be patient. And this is something that we created uh, last Saturday in our last class and today we'll be creating something new. Hi everyone. Okay, so people are joining in. Okay. Okay, so a uh, creative ride uh, is something like I have started a small initiative that every Saturday at 5 p.m. Uh, I'll come live and then uh, we'll just learn some uh, quilling and iris folding techniques also. But for now, we are uh, doing quilling here. Okay. And like, uh, like I came to know that there are many people who uh, don't want to do quilling as a profession or professionally they don't, uh, they don't want to do, uh, do anything with quilling. So uh, they just want to do it uh, for their uh, own like creative creativity or uh, they just want to do it to just get a break from their monotonous routine. So that is why. I came up with this that every Saturday we can do some quilling together okay and if you are hi and if you are uh, someone who uh, like loves to do some thing related to art then uh, quilling is obviously for you you can surely do it with me so uh, we are going uh, from the basics okay so we are starting from zero level we are starting uh, from very initial stages so you all can join in and if you have missed the first session then after this session you can uh, just scroll through my profile and you'll get the video okay that we did last saturday Uh, 
Hi, hi. So, uh, I'll just uh, tell you what we'll be doing today. So, uh, like I showed you that uh, last Saturday we made this little turtle, okay, uh, using uh, quilling techniques. And this is now, it looks like this, okay. And today uh, we'll be learning something new. So, today we'll be creating this little owl, okay. And uh, I know the colors are... Uh, very poppy so I have chosen very bright shades for this so that it can it can also brighten you all up okay so colors you can choose as per your choice and if if you want to do it with me then surely you can do it with me I'll just go uh, by step by step I'll go okay you can also do it with me and today we'll be creating this okay Thank you. Okay. So, uh, uh, in my uh, last class also, I shared uh, some of my works. So, uh, today, like if you missed the last one and you are joining uh, today for the very first time, then you can have... A look at those like not all of them you can just uh, look there look those in my old video so here it is and the second one is this this I think I didn't showed in the last video okay so this is something like this okay and this is a cupcake which I really adore you can also see it in frame behind me okay and there is one more okay something like this uh, names might appear so this is something like this okay and I have one this is framed so this is like a name plate name board okay so I like quilling I hope you all know what quilling is so quilling is basically a art which we uh, do with the help of paper strips and like these type of strips we need for doing quilling okay so if you don't have this strip i told in my earlier video also that you can hand cut them for now or otherwise they are easily available in market you can go and like you can purchase them or if you're having any colorful sheets at home but the, uh, the, those uh, sheets should not be a cardstock uh, those should not be of a real really higher GSM okay so I think uh, we'll just start okay uh, so for all those who uh, are doing it with me uh, so for today we'll be needing this quilling needle some strips whatever color you like I have taken these colors you can see over here okay and uh, cutter and obviously glue okay so the ones who have joined just now uh, we are doing quilling and this is our second session of the creative right so i have given it a name creative right because like for this one hour we are on a creative right okay so we are doing going to do something creative every saturday 5 pm here at ravat craft with me arti okay so with quilling uh, you can do many sort of things i earlier told you you can create these type of 2D creatures and uh, the works I have shown you, you can uh, create those type of works also. Uh, with that, uh, these kind of brooches, earrings, you can do a lot of stuff. Like jewelry is something which I initially started with, but uh, then I moved on to other things also. And I have also taken several uh, workshops and I even designed a course for quilling because uh, after after uh, looking around i didn't found like any courses or something like that related to quilling so it was a great success too so after that i came up with this creative write so that each one of you can learn so this is the paper strip i'm holding okay and this is the quiller and it 
has a slot in between where you can slide your strip like this and then you can just start rolling it this we did in our earlier class so today we are going one step ahead and uh, in the earlier class we did this turtle and today we'll be doing this little owl okay so uh, firstly I have taken this strip so I am using two colors like uh, this is the back side okay so for making this circle I am using two colors if you, if you don't have uh, so many colors or if you want to go with single color then also it's fine you can go with single color also okay so I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll just join these together okay and uh, wait a second I just needed something to put my glue on so okay so i'm taking out some glue on some rough surface okay so that i don't have to put it out every time i need to glue so there is one strip or uh, so this is some rough strip i'm taking putting the glue i'll just show you how so this is my one strip so these strips are 5 mm okay you can go with 3 mm also if you have so this is the 5 mm strip okay and I'm putting some glue and I'm joining the other strip to this one okay so firstly we have to join strips together so now for now I have joined two of them together okay So I have joined two strips together. Now after taking two green, I am taking one orange. So if you want, you can do like this. And every Saturday we will be doing these sessions. So if you want, you can join. So these are the three strips now. Okay. Now I have taken one orange and now I will take two more green. And if you are not comfortable uh, with putting so many strips together. Then you can start with two or three strips. Start rolling them. Then after you finish rolling them. Then you can uh, join strips. Join other strips to them. Okay. like I'll show you how so firstly so for now I have four strips firstly I have taken two green strips then after that I have taken one orange and now again I'm taking two green strips okay because we need a bigger coil so that is why we are attaching so many strips together And for uh, sticking these strips together, don't put too much of glue, only a drop of it is enough, okay? And for those who have joined right now, we are making, like we'll be making this today, this owl. So these are the five strips I have joined and now uh, I'll take my quilling needle and you have to slot it like this. There's a slot in between and I have put it like this now you have to start rolling it okay once you put it in you have to start rolling it like this and like I told you earlier you have to apply the same pressure while rolling it uh, so then only you will be able to get a perfect coil okay strips are around uh, I think um I haven't measured the length. But I think uh, it's around 15 inches. Okay. So now I have rolled it this much. Now if you want you can just take out your quilling needle. And you can just roll it with your hands. Like this. Okay. But be careful while rolling it. 
so I'm rolling it okay so these are the five strips if you don't have the materials right mm -hmm. now you can just note down the measurements and then you can uh, like make it later on you can just see how I'm making okay and now again I'm taking one orange strip okay So like this we need to make the coil hey thank you you can also do quilling with me like if you're having the materials or else we'll be coming every Saturday uh, live uh, 5 p.m. so that every one of you can learn okay so I have joined one orange strip to it and now I'll just stick it and now if I feel that my coil is still small then I can attach one more strip okay so I'm going for one more green so almost uh, you can take six to seven strips So this is this strip uh, who was asking about the length. This is 42 centimeters long and this is 5 mm. If you have 3 mm, you can go with 3 mm too. Now again, I have taken one more strip. I have put the glue over here and now I'll be just rolling it like this. Materials needed are uh, the quilling strips, quilling needle and glue. And if you have scissor or cutter, paper cutter, that would be great. Like for today, you need just these materials. Because as I'm starting from the very basic so that anyone who hasn't done quilling before, they can also do it with ease. Okay. So I'm not using uh, much of the materials so that is why like there are uh, many quilling tools available quilling boards and uh, molds there are many things but for now we are just uh, doing with minimum material okay so here is the coil I have got and this is the one okay so this is the front side so we have got this bigger coil okay so now uh, what we can make is we can make the eyes okay so for eyes also I have mixed up two colors and I think if you also mix two colors it would be great so I have taken a lighter shade of green and orange and uh, I have taken this strip and then I'll just cut it into two parts okay So with the help of paper cutter, we can cut it into two parts and this green one also you can just cut it into two parts. So those who are joining in now, we are making this little owl. Okay. And for that, we have made this coil using seven strips of length 42 centimeters by joining them together. So here we have uh, like cut these strips into half and now we'll join these two together okay so put some glue and just stick it like this so these are the tight coils that we are making right now And now again there will be two eyes 
so we'll be joining these so quilling is not really tough to do but uh, to get the preciseness and with that to make it tidy is important for that you need a lot of practice and patience so this is we have got okay and this so we'll be making the eyes now so i'm uh, i'm starting with the orange because i want green to be on the outer part that is why so again we have to make the tight coil like we did earlier this was the bigger one eyes needs to be smaller so this is going to be the small one okay so we'll just again start rolling it and to get the perfect coil the trick is to roll it with the same pace okay don't push it too hard or too light just hold it like this with the same pressure and if you keep the pressure same you will get the perfect coil okay and once you get this once you reach the end then you need to put some glue and you need to stick it and here we are we got our first eye okay so again we need to do okay we need to make one more no these are the same size these are 5 mm only not wider same length and same width of the strips now put some glue and stick it so now we got both our eyes and the coils are perfect okay so the trick is to use the same pressure so now we are done with the eyes and the body okay and now uh, we'll move towards these eyebrows okay so for this we'll be needing uh, loose coils okay so we have uh, done the part which was with tight coils now we are moving towards the loose coils uh, okay we'll be taking orange so i have taken this orange strip and I just cut it into two parts, okay? For eyebrows, I have just cut it down into two parts. And with loose coils, uh, like I have done several workshops, so I have seen people struggling with making uh, the perfect loose coils. And the reason is, I'll tell you. So firstly, with the same pressure, you need to make the tight coil, okay? So once this tight coil is done, you need to hold it for few seconds like this, like this in your hands, okay? Because if you open it instantly without closing it properly, it uh, won't be a great shape, okay? So like this, you can see the tight coil, you have holded it like this for few seconds and now uh, just put it on a surface and allow it to loosen up, okay? So then it will, it will come out perfectly see okay and once you get this then like this is a loose coil now then put some glue okay and after that you have to shape it and you can shape it with your hands like hold it like this and then you need to take this portion up and this portion down okay so hold it like this and then go like this okay and little curve from the sides and you'll get this type of shape see so it's not that tough to make just there are some things you need to keep in mind okay 
So this is done. So we'll make one more like this. And if you're joining it for the first time, then I can assure you that you can do it with me. If you have like if you don't have the materials now from next uh, class onwards, you can join and you can just enjoy this one hour. So you have to just hold it for some time in your hands. It should be properly a tight coil before opening it. And then open it. Okay. And then we need to open it. Then it will be a perfect loose coil. You can see the gaps between each coil is perfect. Okay. And then after pasting it, you need to shape it up. Guys, you can ask the questions. Please don't send requests to be in live video. That won't be possible for now. Okay. So one side needs to go up and one side needs to go down. Okay. And uh, from these ends, you need to give it a little curve. So you will get this type of shape. Okay. So now these eyebrows portion is done, eyes portion is done, okay, and uh, the body portion is done. Now these uh, these wings portion and this little beak you can say this and the feet are left. So now we'll do the feet, okay. So for that also I'm taking one orange strip and I'm again cutting it into two parts, okay. And you have to start rolling it. It's so nice to see all of you here. And yes, uh, like uh, there was one more thing I wanted to say. Like we'll just make the feet and then we'll move on to that thing. So uh, this is here. I have made a tight coil. And now I don't want uh, this coil to be so loose. So I'll just keep it here. And once it's open this much, okay, I'll just uh, shape it like this. Like I need to hold it and pinch it from one side only, okay, like this. So our feet are ready. I'll just put some glue. So you can see we got this type of a teardrop shape, okay. And we need to do the same with the other strip we have okay so again firstly you need to hold it like this after making a tight coil and you will not struggle making other loose coils if you follow this trick okay and then we just allow it to open a little and then you can just shape it up okay and it's done so if you follow the process go step by step it will be easily made okay okay so now I have got these two little feet okay and i have got the brows now uh we just need to make this this wings portion okay so for this just look at me how i'm making so i'm taking one strip one full strip is needed for this and after that we'll just join them together and then you can see the proper piece okay so uh, the process is same firstly you have to just roll it and make it a tight coil okay this is done 
and now you have to allow it to open up but once it's a proper tight coil then only okay it's done and now we'll just allow it to open and it's opening up okay so you can see the coil okay so once it's open this much then what you have to do is you have to hold it like this and like this and then you have to press it the way i'm doing it okay so this part you don't have to move this part you have to move it like this okay upwards you need to go upwards like this so you'll get some this kind of a shape okay and then put some glue and stick it okay so we have got one and we'll make one more same process you need to follow and you need to make one more okay if anyone wants to ask anything they can surely ask and yeah i was saying that i would really appreciate if uh, you can just join the live sessions and if you can ask the questions over here because it becomes really difficult for me to answer every particular question personally in dms okay so it would be easier because here we are we are joining every saturday 5 so you can just ask the questions here and uh, i have also uh, like come up with uh, one more thing that uh, you can uh, find the uh, whatsapp link of ravat craft in the bio and uh, if you want there you can join our group and there you can post your uh, like work whatever you do and uh, yeah hi everyone so there you can post your work or you can uh, like ask questions if you have any any queries because there are other coilers also so they can also help you out if not me okay so if you want that can be done but personally answering everybody's questions in dm like it is really time taking and becomes really difficult so i hope you all understand so this is the second one and again hold it like this and just give it a turn like this the material that we are using for now is the quilling strips quilling needle uh some glue and a paper cutter not more than that okay so now we have made the wings part also eyes part also so now now uh, we'll just uh, join them together okay so this is my circle okay and now uh, firstly i'll just uh, paste the eyes okay so like this you see and i have put some glue like this okay to half of this because i'll be pasting them like this a little portion will be out okay and every saturday 5 pm you can join with the materials with you and we can start like we are starting from the basics so with very minimum materials i'm trying to do it so that each one of you can join and you all can do this easily saima currently we are like we have just started from last saturday and currently we are going with quilling uh, we'll be starting iris folding uh, like after this only because and if you want to like go for the courses then you can join our courses for that for that you can um, pasting is done okay and then i'll just paste these wings like this around okay 
so for that you need to put the glue like this okay so I have put the glue over here and then you have to paste it like this and you have to press it okay press it a little now I'm just pressing it guys I won't take the request to be in video please we can do a special session of chatting in person later on for now you can uh, ask your questions here only okay so I have like pasted one side and now I'll be pasting the other one to other side I have put the glue and now I'll be pasting it. So quilling is a very ancient art and it is also considered as a stress buster. So if you are working also you can just try it to get a break from your monotonous routine. okay so you have to like press it like this so that it's properly pasted okay so we have pasted the side wings now we'll move towards this portion okay this bro portion so for pasting the bro you need to put the glue on almost half of it okay I have put the glue now I have to paste it from here okay like above eyes and you have to press it also so that it's properly pasted okay so one of them is pasted and now the other one So I have put the glue and now I'm just pasting it okay and while pasting just press with your thumb fingers so that it can stick properly okay so can you see it's almost it's, it's, it has started looking like this one okay so now we also have uh, the feet just a second I lost one okay got it so this is the feet now I'll put some glue on it I have put the glue and now I'll just stick it like this I'll just paste both of them and then I'll show you You can find ideas everywhere. If you are asking for uh, the platform, then I think uh, Pinterest is great. You can find some ideas there, and with that, you can you can get you can take inspiration from any any of the artists out there. Okay. 
so this is done so now the little beak is done which i just forgot to make so we'll just make it right now okay you can find several patterns on uh, if you are talking about ideas on pinterest okay so i have uh, cut it into two parts and uh, like uh, the beak is really small so i am again cutting this half strip into one more half so basically one fourth of the strip you'll be needing for this so if you want to do something creative you can join every saturday 5 pm so this is our very second session and before this one session has been done in that we made this little turtle or uh, you can watch that session too after this is done so this is uh, the little coil okay and we don't want it to be very big so i'll just open it a very little and then i'll just give it a teardrop shape like this like we did for the feet okay thank you so much So I hi everyone who all are joining now. We are making this little owl. Okay, so this is also done. This is done. I'll just put some glue, and which I have put, and now I take my this one, stick this beak in between. Okay, and in our last class we also learn some uh quilling shapes. You can surely watch it out. just a second i'll just show you the final look so here is the owl okay so this is i have created right now and this is the one i just showed you earlier okay so uh, all of it i have uh, like made it right now only uh, and if you if you people wants to learn some quilling like if you want to do it for fun only or if you want to do it to get a break from your monotonous routine it's a perfect art thank you it's a perfect art and you can uh, just do it with me every saturday 5 pm uh, i have started this initiative called creative ride where i just share my knowledge with you all so that you can be perfect with it okay so uh okay so uh, for now we have created this one in earlier class we did this one so every saturday we are creating something new and we are also learning something new and uh, like uh, what happens is like i have also seen many of the videos on youtube like uh, there are many awesome videos also but uh, the thing is i also have my channel on uh, youtube if you like want to have a look you can visit there it's in the name of ravat craft and uh, like what happens on youtube is uh, like there is no live interaction like if you face any difficulty in making something okay like if you face any difficulty in uh, making something then uh, you can't ask the questions right away so that is why i have uh, started this so that uh, if you have any query you can ask and uh, we can also have a little chit chat in between so it is just a fun session okay with that you can just learn something and you can explore your creative side so that is why uh, this is started yeah every saturday 5 pm uh, indian standard time okay so uh, like one of you has asked about waterproof okay so for waterproof uh, there are uh, several materials available you can give a coating of that like and uh, for now like we are doing it with the minimum uh, material so if you uh, want to go uh, like low on cost also yes you can put the glue also like if your glue is too thick you can add some drops of water in it and then you can do the coating uh, then it will be like waterproof i'll just uh, show you some examples 
like this one this is a peppa pig i created okay so uh, i have done the coating of normal glue only but it's very hard okay it can stand and it's very hard so you can also do the coating of glue on it i am not having many of the things right now with me so this is something so i hope uh, you all will uh, join the next class for sure and if you don't have the material till then uh, you can just arrange the materials and then we together can create something new okay yeah for now if you are not having the quilling strip if you are asking about the toothpick yeah sure but then uh what happens is like this is a coil you can see so in between the space uh, is very less but if you do uh, with a toothpick the space would be little more but yes for starting for fun you can do it you should explore new methods like when i initially started i wasn't having any of the materials with me so i just did it with my hands only and like after that when i thought yeah this is interesting and i am having interest in it so i started learning it in a proper way and i started uh, using much of the materials to make it a little easier and better because in quilling uh, what matters is the perfection quilling is not at all tough to do but bringing that perfection in your art is really tough it needs lot of practice hello okay i'm having one material with me uh i don't remember the name in next class surely i'll show you that material uh for making it waterproof and uh, glue you can surely use sure you all should try and from next class you should try it with me only like i'll be more than happy <laughs> and for questions and all if you want you can join our whatsapp group like that's totally up to you it's not a compulsion to join if you want you can like there you can share your work and you can also get inspiration from other artists as well uh you can connect with more people yeah mod podge also you can use okay so uh, for people who are joining in we can create these type of uh, like these this is the number uh, sorry name name plates and there are many things we can create but right now we are starting it uh, like with very basics so that each one of you can do and you can enjoy doing quilling it should not be a burden So anyone else wants to ask anything thank you see i'm not pronouncing the name of anyone because i'm not sure i'll pronounce it right or not so that is why but i'm just seeing uh, the comments each one of you are sending me it's great to see so many people joining uh share the whatsapp group details okay so uh, the whatsapp uh, group details uh, like uh, in the bio there's a link and you can find the whatsapp group link there from there you can join so i hope from uh, like from next saturday onwards you all will be joining yes it will be available you can watch and you can also watch it on youtube if you want yes everything will be done but i uh, will go a little slow so that each one of you can do everything will be covered uh, for now we are starting with small small things with simple coils and all so thank you so much each of you for joining me today and it feels good when you have so many people joining joining you and like i hope you'll be trying this 
after maybe after the session if you have not done it with me but i'll go with uh, not i'll not go to oh hello okay so i'll go with a very like slow speed so that you can match up to it and you can surely do it with me also if you want to do it you just uh, needed the materials i have told you like for now you will just be needing the the quilling needle quilling strips and glue and with that uh, scissor or paper cutter basic shapes some of the shapes i have covered in uh, my first session uh, that you can watch after this session uh, can we see new project yeah surely you'll see that new project but actually um, monish it's a bigger one so right now i can't show it to you but maybe uh, till next saturday it will be done and maybe framed so i'll definitely show it to you hello from lebanon hello monish so next saturday i'll be showing you uh, my new project okay you'll get to see that or maybe before that because it's it's like um uh, it's much bigger so and it's not around me right now so i can't show it to you right now but surely in next session i'll share it with you <laughs> yeah sure eagerly waiting will be sharing it with you all so you can tell me from where you all are like for 2 5 minutes we can have a little chit chat like i told you it's a fun session so we are already done with this one from greece okay hi yeah surely you should you should start as soon as possible <laughs> scotland okay hey spain okay like i love cosmopolitan atmosphere so that is why i'm asking like it's great to join with so many people hi everyone so um for today it was uh, and uh, like uh, someone was asking about the shapes so yes i have covered uh, some of the basic shapes in my last uh, last session from lebanon hello uh, from in last session i have covered some of the shapes and in the coming class we'll be doing uh, like shapes uh, flowers heart shapes like all these kinds of shapes we'll be doing so you can join the next session 5 pm indian standard time every saturday okay so creative write is the series <clears throat> you can also make a uh, yeah i was having one uh, uh, uh. Mm, I'm not getting it right now. I was also having one earrings with me, and yeah, for iris pattern, like many of you must not be knowing what iris pattern is. So this is uh, this is something called iris pattern. Okay, this is the iris pattern, and with that, I've just created this card. Okay, so this is something iris pattern is, and oh yeah, I got I got just a second. So uh, this this is also the earring created with quilling only. okay so there are many things we can create jewelry or uh, gifting materials cards there are many things many 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 things and and then and, and, yeah and these type of stuff you uh, uh, like you can put uh, the fridge magnets behind it and you can just paste them okay yeah surely we'll meet in our next session now and like I hope you'll be creating with me only in the next session. Like I'm fully excited to meet you all again. <laughs> so it was great having you all and uh, it was a fun session and the next session is also going to be same fun. <laughs> Hair clip. Okay, we'll try. like currently we are going by uh the basic shapes and all na so we'll go we'll reach there don't worry i'll just tell you the um, 
like if you want to create it for now it's just a simple trick okay uh, you can just like if you want to convert it into a hair clip okay just put some uh, 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 put some thread or something like this and then you can attach it with two clips from both the sides okay like this is kind of a as a trick you can you can uh, use or uh, you can create these types of brooches also like this is also quilling this is also paper made so there are many stuff we can do okay so it will be fun and it will be great to have you all again in our next session so for now I think that chit chat is done. Anything else anyone wants to say or ask, you can. I'm from India. Hope you all love the session. And uh, we'll meet again in our next session. So it was great having you all. And I hope you all have uh, got the things I have like told you how to make it so this was the thing uh, we made in uh, this class and this is the little turtle we made in our last class and now we have learned how to make tight coils and loose coils thank you so much now we have learned how to make tight coils and loose coils and in our next class we'll be like moving forward towards the shapes and all this is not a flower this is owl and this is little turtle Great. So every Saturday you can jo join and you'll have great Saturdays. <laughs> it is so nice connecting to people. Yeah, you can see the session after the live. Like I'll, I'll surely try to save it. If I'm successful in saving it, then you'll get to see it. Okay, so it was it was really nice connecting with you all and I am also feeling really good after connecting with so many people and it was great it was fun like for me I'm talking about me I hope you have the same feelings that I have so we'll meet next Saturday same timing 5 p.m. okay 5 p.m. Indian Standard Time and we'll do some more quilling okay it was great meeting you all so bye bye all of you we'll meet in our next session and if you have any queries you can surely join the whatsapp group and there you can uh, post your work also if like if you create something like this and there there are like many people many other coolers also so any one of you anyone can answer to your query and question so bye for now It was nice having you all. Bye-bye. Priya, we are ending the session. You are late. Yeah, bye till next Saturday. We'll meet next Saturday again. Okay? Till then, bye-bye. Have a great week. Have a great day. And thank you so much for joining in. Hope to see you again next Saturday, 5 p.m. Bye-bye. Have a great week.